Hi, Slava. Hi, Sean. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, good. You <laughs> just uh, came back from, from the panel on COVID-19. I saw happened. your update. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, very exciting. So actually, <laughs> I just met people that uh, delivering uh, Cornitin to us. <laughs> That's were you starstruck? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think I I think it was very good, and uh, yeah, they are going to publish record anyway. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Well, that's great. Well, I say when other people join, then uh, please do tell us more about that. Yeah, it's uh, okay. I will do that. So I made my I my, made my first data up dataverse upload this weekend for VT. So I'm uh, kind of happy about that. Uh -huh. I don't think it's organized very logically, though. So I, I was uh, thinking probably should give a little more thought to what makes sense in terms of how to package each thing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So but, but I voice. think I think now people just started to realize that why they need to archive data. So like it was reported uh, about uh, um, GeoTask. So something that just uh, got broken and uh, they can download uh, archive data from Dataverse, which is nice. So they can continue their work. It's a good idea. Also, I, I think it's just easier to maintain code if you don't also have to maintain the inputs to the code in the same stream because then you can mix and match better. Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, you can get back to previous versions, which is nice if you yes. want to do something, right? <laughs> Absolutely. They, I say they should be sort of tracked on different stamps, I think, usually. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Getting a few folks joining. This is good. Hello. Hello, Ogly. How are you? Doing okay. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Let's see. No, it's just us. Doesn't look like I thought I was running late, but um, it, people are straggling in. We could perhaps yeah. give it a, a couple more minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only seven o three, so or ten o three, or whichever time it is. Here, so. I say seven o three. Where are you? I'm in the Netherlands. Well, seven p.m. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, who is three hours behind me? Is what I was uh, wondering. Uh, but you're, yeah, you're several ahead. Yeah. Uh, where Where are you based? So I'm in. Uh, I'm I'm in the Pacific Coast. I'm in Oregon. Ah, okay. Whereabouts in Oregon? Uh, near near Portland. Oh, cool. I lived in Portland before moving to the Netherlands. Oh, no kidding. Are Are you from around here? Um, well, I am from North Carolina, but after college, I just decided, you know, move out west. Why not? So I Very lived in neat. Portland for two years before moving here. Did you like it okay? Oh, yeah. I, I absolutely loved it. Like, if ever I get the chance to go back to the U.S. to live, I would definitely go back to Portland. I, I loved it. That's yeah, great. I, I, I like to... Oregon very much too. All of it, actually, that I've that I've really been around because I've, I've lived in at least one other place as well. But I, I, it's a friendly place, so I enjoy it. It is. It's really, it's really nice. I, um, I do miss the mountains a lot. Um, I've been here almost three years now, and I'm kind of over the the flatness already. Cause everything is just just flat there's no no mountains um so i do miss that uh like when i lived in portland like every weekend i would like go hike some mountain um which was nice but there's beauty here too i've never been but i hope to go someday to visit the netherlands yeah it's a great place it's nice Okay, well, I think um, we can perhaps get started. Can I persuade anybody to help me uh, annotate this list um, of the daily d daily update uh, progress document? Um, let's see. 
I'm I'm on I don't have access to my computer, so it'll be it'll be tricky for me. Otherwise I would do it. But if no one else volunteers to, then I I could. Okay. I might be able to do it. I just am sort of I find it is a little bit clumsy for me to sort of toggle between windows. On the other hand, I no, probably no, don't okay. need to have them both open at the same time. So yeah. maybe I will um, has anyone else joined yet? Yes, yes, we have we have a handful of us here. Uh, Slava's here, Isaac is here, uh, Kevin Lee is here, and I don't know if there's anybody else. Catherine Kay is here. So, and, uh, oh, I'm Archer. Okay, so just one Archer is here. Um, so, it, it, small small attendance today, but that's okay. We can, we can work with what we've... Uh, got so far. Well, so just in, in order of folks that I do see here, Slava, would you like to go first? That, one second. Some, some problems with my computer. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, yes. Oh, okay, good. Well, uh, from my side, uh, well, we are busy with uh, common infrastructure and uh, there are some interesting developments. So now we have um, uh, all papers updated in, in, in Elastic and uh, MongoDB version 22. And also Lukas finally, I don't see Lukas by the way, but, but finally Lukas uh, managed to get uh, NLP pipeline uh, operating and uh, we can do processing in parallel and uh, we, we just started processing uh, on Amazon cluster. So it goes quite uh, quickly, and uh, I believe uh, if we we'll let some webhooks, we'll be able to pr to uh, do processing of uh, uh, core nineteen uh, updates probably in like twenty hours, which is I think great for our situation, and uh, we already have like one hundred fifty thousand of papers. So it would be nice that all people from all teams will start to use this pipeline and. Uh, like, you know, we will get like common basis for uh, further development. So it's very fascinating. And another thing, uh, we are working with uh, Charlie on, on basically integration with Bell language. So all these entities that will get from uh, NLP pipeline, uh, basically UMLS will be mapped to uh, Bell, uh, biological expression language, uh, and Charlie already uh, shared control vocabularies. So basically, we'll try to get from NLP to biological uh, stuff. So we'll be able to get graphs uh, linked and uh, to get some meaning out of what is written in papers. So this is our plan to go. Wow, that's great. That's Charlie Hoyt, correct? That you're working on the PyBell with? Yeah. All right. That's, uh, that's great. Very, very good update. Um, Okay, uh, let's see. I, and Isaac is here. Isaac, do you have any updates? Um, yeah, so the primary things. Oh, yeah, I, I announced it yesterday in our channel, but we did get our uh, abstract accepted to the workshop at iClear, so that was good. Um, then kind of what we're working on now is we're still working on mo adding the mobility data um, and getting the enhanced evaluation metrics, but that's actually going along pretty smooth. Also, oh, I'm sorry, I lost you for a second there. You said you were adding mobility uh, data for what metrics? Um, so we're adding mobility. So we've been working for a while to see how mobility data affects our model's predictions. Um, for instance, data on like where people are going and stuff. Um, so we. We've been adding that for a while, but we haven't had robust evaluation of it. So we recently added more robust evaluation metrics. So now, um, so yeah, now essentially uh, we're reevaluating the models on those uh, evaluation metrics to see how much of an impact the mobility data has, so. All right, that sounds, definitely sounds like it could be useful. And with everything reopening gradually, I would think it would be increasingly important as well. Um, okay. Um, so I don't necessarily, oh, um, Ogly, you're here. So do you have any update for comms? Um, let's 
see. I'm not sure what Daniel's up to, uh, but on my end, I have a doodle going around. Um, in setting up a um, 501c3. Uh, I'm trying to get some insight on that process. Um, and then there's been uh, some other like activities that have come across that I'm looking into um, for Corona Y to host a hackathon. And there's another um, opportunity that UNESCO is organizing for like open science uh that i'm looking into um so we've got some lots of great activities um coming up for us to get um to get involved with um and i'll post announce uh, more on that as i find out more um, but right now the priority is um, getting the process going on the status registration so hopefully um, next week we can um, schedule a call and um, for like the people who can provide some insight on that to um, get the ball rolling on that. Um, yeah, that is it on my end. Status registration uh, internally or? Oop, did I lose everyone? Are, uh, can you still, can you hear me, uh -oh. Ugly? Ooh, okay. I think Ugly said Hello. she's not on. Hi, we, we can hear you. Um, I don't think, Ugly is on her computer, but I will try chat anyway, just in case I am wrong. Oh, hope I didn't lose everyone. But I think she can't hear us. Okay, I may. If, if um, you may, okay, you may need to dial back in. Um, okay, so I can follow up with her, perhaps if she cannot hear us. Oh, she can. Okay, okay, she can. She can read us. Um, so we can circle back, potentially. Um, you know, I don't know the last time somebody came from community engagement to one of these daily calls. Um, I don't see anybody present currently, um, and I haven't been reading the status document to see if anyone gave an update recently. But um, I, um, I can certainly share that. I know that there's a lot of good stuff going on there. Um, that we're getting uh, some stuff together with uh, V Tiger, and I was able to to meet recently with folks. Oh, I see. Yeah, they did actually post an update for yesterday. Um, so I, I personally did meet with them to try to help automate um, the like the email list management, for instance. And so I've I've sort of trained one of the folks who's on community engagement to do the job I was doing manually. Um, and uh, Tyler has been uh, doing a lot of work slack scraping and trying to converge our membership lists and uh, uh, Bianca and Shirley have been doing a lot of good work too, getting things working with Tiger. So I'm hoping we'll have a, a better registration system internally coming soon. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I don't think is, okay, so I, we can run down the core team lists, although I don't see people here for most of them. Is there anyone here who'd like to give an update for risk? Is there yes, anyone so here? Oh, I'm a sorry. Bit. No, a little bit. Uh, so I was just in the, yeah. the risk meeting. Um, uh, and give, I did approve. Oh, I did. I did come in late, but um, we are essentially because we're not submitting uh, a Kaggle, Kaggle submission. Uh, we're doing our own uh, like a, a project that uh, may or may may or may not take a year uh, based on Maya's uh, guidelines. Um, do using neural net. Uh, um, to like, I think piece together like I, I, to suggest uh, articles um, based off of uh, some criteria, um, but uh, hopefully either Mile will, will release um, some sort of uh, uh, description of what's going to happen. Um, but uh, that's what at least that's what's happening currently. Um, and then we're doing it all in a private channel just for the sake of um, privacy and uh, so that people might not approach model ideas. Oh, okay. Um, that's good to know. Um, thank you, Kevin. Is there anybody here who could give an update for ties? I, I think we are just celebrating. Celebrating. All right. I, I will put that because that's, that's fun too. Um, 
Okay. Okay, how about a uh, vaccine? Nobody for vaccine, okay. Um, Discovery Engine? All right, we're moving right down this list. Um, okay, well, since we're a small group, is there anything uh, that anyone would like to bring up at this meeting? Well, I just wanted to update about the panel. Uh, so I, I, I just participated in the panel on COVID-19 uh, at Harvard University, and there is a Dataverse community meeting. And actually I had the chance to speak to people that deliver in COVID-19 to us, and uh, also Research Data Alliance Group and other important people. And they're re really looking forward to how we can collaborate and how we can work together on this kind of topic. So it was recorded, and I think it will it will be published tomorrow, probably. So you you all will have a chance to watch it. Awesome! That's, I saw that's you great. posted something about it on LinkedIn. Um, so that's great. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Do you have to awesome. register for it, or will you? Uh, is it just towards like the like a, just follow the link in your post? Or to take to watch it is there like a link to like the zoom um yeah yeah so so yeah Be because uh you know for dataverse it's usually three days three days conference but in this situation with COVID 19 they decided to move online as all conferences so it's basically uh you should be registered to get a link and uh, after you you'll be able to participate okay. so Thank it's you. yeah Okay. Looking forward to seeing that posted. Um, and uh, thanks very much for sharing that with us. Does anyone have any blockers or help needed that they would like to request at this meeting? Everyone is good and has everything they need. This is great. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out soon when that changes. Um, Okay, well, I, I think it's just a brief meeting today, everybody. So let's go off and do all the busy things we're doing. All right, see you guys soon. All right, see ya.